So today's question is, what happens to your trees when you don't water them? They freaking die! Come on guys, seriously? Do you need a video to tell you that your trees are going to die if you don't water them? I'm just kidding, okay? So sometimes it's not as obvious as wilting and then dying immediately, especially for trees in the ground. So today I'm gonna to be showing you real life uh, experience that uh, just happened to me actually about a month ago. And I wanna show you what happens to your trees when you don't water them or if they don't get enough water. So let's get to it. So about a month ago, I had a leak in my irrigation system right over here. So I had to dig the whole area up and I fixed it immediately. As, as soon as I saw the water pooling, I fixed it. I need to finish this up, but anyways, there's my irrigation lines. And one thing that I did not realize was dirt got inside my irrigation lines. So everything in the front yard of my house is connected to my irrigation system. That's coming from here. The emitters on this area right here, they were working, okay? That one was working. This one was working, but a lot of the ones in the back, they were not, they were clogged. But I assumed they were working. So my trees here in the front, they went without water for about two weeks. During the hottest part of the month, this was in July, every single day it was over 110 degrees, no clouds in the sky, no shade, and no water. Now, thankfully, a lot of the trees that I have in the ground, they have roots in the ground. They're fully rooted in the ground. So I did not lose any trees, but they took damage. The first one that I started noticing taking damage was my silk floss. I noticed a lot of my leaves started getting transpiration burn. A lot of your plants, when they run out of water, well, the first thing that's usually gonna happen is the areas farthest away from the trunk and the root system of your plant, they're gonna run out of water. And then if they don't get water, the first thing that's gonna happen is the tips are gonna burn no water, then your branches are gonna start dying back. As you can see, the upper canopy, a lot of the little branches up there, they're cooked, and most of the foliage fell off. But you can see the bottom canopy actually has more leaves than the upper canopy, and that's simply because the tree couldn't push the water high enough to sustain the entire canopy. So I noticed this, and I thought that was normal, you know, 110 degrees plus every single day, actually. Here in my yard, it was about 125 degrees, some days uh, based on my thermostat and then I noticed my Hong Kong orchid tree was getting destroyed remember this happened over a month ago so my entire canopy I did not record it but fell off completely all my little branches like that died back and all my leaves fell off and uh, I'm like what in the world is going on did I not put enough uh, fish emulsion in the soil? <laughs> but anyways, so I started working around. I turned my irrigation system on and then there was no water coming out. Everything was clogged. So I literally had to pull all my lines out, get the dirt inside, flush my system, and then it was working once again. But my trees went without water for about two weeks when it was super hot. And uh, when that happens, well, your trees are gonna suffer. Some trees are gonna show transpiration burn. Some trees are gonna wilt. Some trees, uh, the leaves are gonna turn yellow and they're gonna fall off. Um, that happened to my Hong Kong orchid. All of them happened all at once. And since it was so hot, it got decimated. But some trees actually will recover a lot faster than others. As you can see, my Hong Kong orchid tree here, it's completely full again. Within a month, this is fast. This is a very fast growing tree and apparently when they take damage and then they recover, especially during the growing season, you know, they come back very quickly. Uh, my silk floss tree over here is actually starting to come back. I got a lot, a lot of new growth right here. You can see new growth coming up, new growth there, new growth everywhere. And, uh, so if your trees take damage because they didn't get water for one reason or another, what can you do to help your plants? 
Well, I know a lot of people out there will tell you, you need to fertilize your tree, you need to spray your tree, you need to put mulch in the ground, you need to do all kinds of stupid stuff, okay? But I can tell you, the best thing that you can do to fix your plants, if they took damage from not getting watered, you need to water them immediately. Don't worry about the fertilization, don't worry about anything else, because if your trees have no water, they're not gonna be able to eat any fertilizer you put in the soil. Now, some plants will take longer to recover than others. This one right here took about a month. My silk floss tree is coming back now, as you can see, but obviously it doesn't look as nice as my Hong Kong orchid tree here. But I didn't put anything in the soil. All I did was fix my water. I deep watered them for like an entire 24 hours after I, I fixed the uh, watering issue. And now they're getting water when they need to. And as you can see, the trees are coming back. Now, if they go too long without water, especially with trees that are established in the ground, obviously you're gonna lose your canopy. Your trees are gonna look like crap. A lot of your smaller branches are gonna die back, but that is just the way it works. Um, how long will your trees take to recover from um, taking damage from not watering them? Well, it depends on the plant. Like I said, this took about a month, but I'm in the middle of the summer. This is prime growing season for all my trees that I have in the ground, all of them. So that's the only reason why this tree right here reco recovered very quickly. I did not put anything in the soil. I did not fertilize it. I did not spray anything. All I did was water. Now this trees right here took most of the damage, but my figs over here, they actually have deeper roots and they have been in the ground for a lot longer than my silk floss and my Hong Kong orchid tree. And this is my Ballet de Bordeaux tree right here. This is how I started suspecting I was having an issue, but I guess I should have listened to my trees. They talked to me and I refused to listen to them. And how these trees talk to me? Well, I drive, this is a street right here. I drive back and forth all the time. And then this is the first thing that I see when coming down the street. And a lot of my leaves on the other side, they're cooked like this. And this is not normal for my figs, especially for this fig, since they are old. They've been in the ground for like four or five years. The roots are as deep as they get. And then for them to cook like this, it's not normal. But for whatever reason, I thought it was normal and I ignore it. If I had caught it in time, my other trees would not have taken damage. But you know, that's what happens when you don't listen to your trees. Actually, just a few weeks ago, I released a video where I gave you, I think, a few reasons or a few signs to look for when your trees are trying to talk to you. But anyways, guys, so if you have a tree that is suffering because you didn't water it, well, the first thing you need to do is you need to water it. Yes, immediately. Other than that, what else can you do? Have patience. You need to wait. Trees take time to recover. This trees took I mean about a month, that's fast. For some other trees, especially if they don't have roots in the ground, the recovery time can easily take over a year. And some other trees that are more sensitive than these trees right here, since they have deeper roots, they, that amount of damage would have killed them. But anyways guys, as always, gardening is not that complicated. And most times when you have any plant issues, most times it's gonna be water related. So just water your trees. It's that simple, especially if it's hot. If your plants are looking like crap, they're acting up, and it's freaking hot out there, most likely it's water related. So if you have people out there that are trying to sell you on, you need to fertilize your soil, you need to spray your plants, you need to add this, add that for your plants to recover, you don't need any of that. Is that gonna hurt anything? No, it's not. If they're charging you, it's gonna hurt your wallet. If they're doing it for free, that's great. They care about you. But in reality, all you need to do is water. Another problem in my area that people are having right now is they water, but they're not watering long enough for the water to penetrate the soil. And, and when the plants are acting up, they don't think it's water related because they have been watering. But you have to understand the water needs to penetrate the soil and go deep enough into the soil to actually water the root system of that specific plant. Just because you water doesn't mean that the water is penetrating the soil. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. As always, don't forget to like it. If you have any questions, comment below. And I will see you next time.